please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service, is a managed relational database service offered by AWS. Tags in Amazon RDS can be used to categorize and organize your database instances for better management. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use Python and the Bato3 library to filter RDS instances based on their tags. Before you begin, ensure that you have the following setup. AWS account, you should have an AWS account with Amazon RDS instances created. Python and Bato3, make sure you have Python installed, and you can install the Bato3 library using pip. AWS Credentials, set up your AWS credentials by configuring the AWS CLI or by setting environment variables for AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID and AWS underscore secret underscore access underscore key. First, import the necessary libraries and initialize a Bato3 client for Amazon RDS. We will use the Bato3.client method to interact with RDS. Now, we will filter RDS instances based on their tags. You can filter RDS instances by specifying one or more tag key value pairs. In this example, we will filter RDS instances with a specific tag key and value. In this code, we specify the tag underscore key and tag underscore value to filter the RDS instances. The describe underscore db underscore instances method is used to retrieve a list of RDS instances that match the specified tag key value pair. We then extract and print information about each filtered RDS instance. Save the Python script and run it. You should see a list of RDS instances that have the specified tag key and value. Adjust the tag underscore key and tag underscore value as needed to filter instances based on your specific tags. That's it. You've learned how to filter Amazon RDS instances based on tags using Python and Bato3. In this tutorial, we've shown you how to filter Amazon RDS instances by tags using Python and Bato3. Tags are a powerful way to organize and manage your resources in AWS and using Bato3 makes it easy to automate and customize these tasks. You can further enhance the script to perform various actions on the filtered instances, such as stopping or starting them, taking snapshots, or modifying their configuration. ChatGPT